Hey, friends. Good morning to y'all. God is amazing. My dad got into a uh, to the rehab last night. Y'all still please pray for him, for his, for his salvation. Cause, but he's in he's in the rehab in Silicaga last night. So good. He got about 20 days to be in there and help him with his back. Please pray they figure out what's wrong with his back. But uh, this morning we're going to be in 1 Peter. We, still, we finished James yesterday. We're going to be in 1 Peter this morning. Because heaven is reserved for us. Heaven is reserved for us, for us all. Let's all surrender our lives to Jesus. The first pole, the first station. Morning there, Mr. Philip. Hey, God bless you, brother. Heaven is reserved for us. When we be first Peter 3, first. First Peter 1, 3 through 5, 3 through 6. Right? I'm going to read a lot this morning. I'm going to read a lot this morning. Y'all ready? Okay. I'm going to read a lot this morning. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incredible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Reserved like heaven is reserved for us, guys. Number five, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, where wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season is, if need be, ye are in heaven through manifold temptations. We gotta keep Jesus. We gotta be strong and good courage every day. Our life, we're gonna be tempted, guys. We gotta remember we get Jesus inside of us. We live for Jesus, not for this ungodly symbol. Temporary world, heaven is reserved, reserved for us. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for everything you do. Lord, your word is so quick and powerful. Sharp than any two-edged sword. Help us to read it every day, Lord. Your word, help us live for your word, not for this world, Lord Jesus. Please guide us all, direct us all, keep us all safe in everything we do this morning. Help us get to school, help us get to work, help us get where we got to go. Be with the boys, be with, all, be with us all, Lord. Help us in our decision-making skills, Lord. Just keep you first and not to do anything that's against your will. Help us, Jesus. Guide us all, direct us all. Keep us all safe in your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Pause. One more second. First station. Let's keep the faith, guys. Let's keep the faith. First point. Because heaven is reserved for us. Let's keep the faith. We're going seven through nine. We're going to have a lot to read this morning. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, ye yet believing, ye rejoice with joy, who unspeakable, full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your, your souls. So we got to, let's keep the faith. That was the first point this morning. Because heaven is reserved for us. First point, let's keep the faith. Second point, let's hope for his grace. We go to number 13, let's hope for his grace. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. One more time. Read that one more time. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end of for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So heaven is reserved for us, guys. We need to accept it and understand that he is in control. Instead of all that lusting, we need to be holy. As I, as I mentioned in First Peter a lot, if y'all have been following Jesus Christ through me, I, it's just, I'm just a messenger. It's not about Curly, it's all about Jesus. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. It says in First John 4, 4. Instead of lusting, we need to be holy. We go to 14 through 16. As so, as obedient children, not, not fat, blah, 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 blah. excuse me. Hold oh, one second. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. Third point, instead of lusting, let's be holy. Let's be holy. 
Because as obedient children, not fashioning of yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because of it, it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. He is holy. We need to be holy for him, guys. We need to live for Jesus. Because he, heaven, is reserved for us. He has a place in heaven reserved for us. Now we're going to read number 18 through 25, the end of the chapter. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed, because guys and girls, it feels like, because folks, we are redeemed, all right? We are redeemed. Heaven is reserved for us, because we are redeemed. 18 through 25. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, who but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb of God, as a lamb without blemish, and without spot, who verily was ordained before the foundation of the of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him do you believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart. Perfect. I want y'all to read along with me now, guys. I'm just reading this for myself. I'm reading. Please read along with me. Hello, Miss County Moore. Good morning. Being born, number 23. First Peter 1, 23. Being born again, not of credible seed, but of incredible, by the word of God, which liveth, liveth and abideth forever. For all our flesh is as grass, and the flower, of, and the glory of man as a flower of grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth thereof, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord, whoo the, the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word by which the, by, by the gospel is preached unto you. So guys, guys, yes, we need to feel, we need to, we need to understand that heaven is received. Heaven is reserved, excuse me. Heaven is reserved for us. So let's keep the faith this morning. Let's hope for his grace. Instead of blessing, let's be ye holy. Let's be holy, guys. Let's not get around that filthy conversations of them ungodly. Yeah. men and women at work or just we gotta be strong and good courage every day because we are redeemed y'all please pray with me dear Lord Jesus help us all Let's focus on you and your word Lord and be holy as you are holy help us to be and then accept your grace and have faith in you Lord help us always understand that your, your grace is for us Lord help us to accept your grace and get saved by your grace through faith which is a gift from God and our works let's see man to both, Lord, help us all this morning. Guide us all, direct us all, keep us all faith. It's all safe in everything we do, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Please help us all. Guide us all. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Because we are, what are we? We are We are redeemed. Because it feels like redemption, guys. Yeah, y'all please pause. One more second. One more time. <coughs> oh, that's a little hot. <coughs> Cause it feels like redemption is raining down on me. It feels like redemption has come to set us free. Who is come to save such a broken life? Who it feels like it feels like redemption. <laughs> We're all broken. We're born broken. We must be born again. Marvin, I'm not that saying that you must be born again, folks. We must be born again. I'm going to Acts 4.12 real quick. Acts 4.12. We must be born again. That's another verse on that. Neither is there salvation any other. For there is none other name among, under heaven given among men. Whereby we, must, whereby we must be saved. You hear that? We must be saved. Well, God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much. Heaven is reserved for us. Let's keep the faith. Let's hope for his grace. Let's be ye holy. Well, God bless y'all. Thank you for taking.